All right, hello everybody. We are back with ES6 again. And um, we left off with kind of a cliffhanger where we didn't have a resolution on this problem, but um, Mesfin uh, figured it out. And um, uh, uh, Jamal's with me today. But basically we're trying to take this array and we want to use one of these three higher order or uh, higher order error functions. And um, basically we want to filter this list or map this list somehow, some way, so that we only have the positive whole number integers. And then we want to take those numbers and we want to uh, square them. So this would be 16. This one would be skipped. This is negative, skipped, fraction skipped. Take 42, square it, six, square it to make 36. And then skip, skip. But, um, one moment, Jamal. Yeah. Okay, and then we want that to output as squared integers. So we started that process by uh, creating a filter and we just uh, create something called num. Hey, hold on. And then um, we use some arrow functions to find the numbers that were greater than zero. And then we used and, and, ampersand, ampersand, uh, number dot is integer with uh, num. And then I think that was the point that we got to. And I was just like, okay, what do I do now? And um, I tried to do this. We looked up map. And then this part, but uh, couldn't quite get it to work. Um, and um, yeah, Ellis, can you do that? He suggested yeah. this. Yeah. And then I think it should work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was that. Yeah, this was Mesfin's yeah. solution. Uh, so we were like really, really close yesterday. We just needed to um, use dot notation for yeah. the integer. So that, you know, a number that is positive and is an integer, then it takes this step of multiplying that number by itself. Yeah. So then um, it outputs this. Mm. But uh, mm. that's, uh, that's the solution. Yeah, can you, can you do this uh, instead of doing num is greater than zero uh, and and the number is this you can you can you can say that uh, if uh, number uh, why is it like uh, um, yeah uh, okay is equals array dot filter filter num and then actually in a6 if you have only one parameter you don't have to put it in parentheses oh really yeah so you just say that. that's written that no 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 uh, that parenthesis is uh, out just num okay just num uh, right num yeah that's it an arrow function <clears throat> yeah in this one what i was doing that there is number dot uh, absolute do you know in mathematics there is absolute value what's that absolute value like like uh, oh, okay. absolute value 
like like it gives you positive now uh, uh like it's a number a number dot a capital in this number dot yeah uh number dot absolute a, a, okay there is no absolute uh, can can we can we google absolute value in javascript <laughs> Let's, okay. let's Google. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me just get it in the end. Yeah, absolute value or something. I might just have to Google it. Well, it's a uh, uh, maths. It's under maths module, like uh, maths dot absolute. Is it like? Oh, okay. Do you know this maths dot absolute and? Um, yeah. So that yeah, number. and then we say that maths dot absolute. Uh, capital M is it? I think. Yeah. Dot. Is that right? Uh, less. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah. Dot then a. Yeah, abs yeah, yeah. Then pass that num. <laughs> no, 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 no end. Pass uh, abs and no, no. Pass like open parameter and pass the oh, num. No. Num. Uh, and and now out, out, outside uh, the parentheses. Out. Dot map. No, no, no. Out. I mean outside. Get out of this para. Yes. To the to the right again yes dot map call dot map map uh, and the same thing in the uh, in the map that you did num mm, num yeah, no. uh, yeah without parentheses yeah just yeah that one yeah and put it there yeah and reduce the parentheses to minimize quotes yeah. Now this should work. Yeah, that's uh, taking the positives and uh, squaring them. Yeah. Yeah, that looks a little cleaner. <laughs> yeah, there is some red thing. Let's fix. Uh, is it some red thing? I don't know what it say. Some error or something. What is that? Is there some error or something? There is some. No. There is no error. Okay. Okay. No, no error. I, I, okay. Yeah, put it here. Okay. 16 and then. Yeah, we just have to get rid of the fractions now. Uh, okay. Then we we uh, the fraction. Uh, now let's make it. Um, uh, yeah. Then it has to be. Uh, integer. Yeah. Number. Number is integer. Num. Yeah. But it yeah. gave us four as well, though. Mm. It wasn't supposed to give us four. Oh, how is that? Oh, because it gave us absolute value. Yeah, it should give you positive value, not. Yeah, you don't want to have the positive value there. Here's what it says here. No. Yeah, the square of only positive. Only positive. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, we are, yeah, yeah. Then we are yeah. considering the negative one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah it has yeah. to be this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, because anyway. <laughs> I think they put yeah. that one there to trick people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, this is okay. You I hadn't read this, so yeah, I was misleading you. That's good. Uh, then I think this wouldn't work. I think only this would work then. Yeah, yeah, that, that's true. Yeah. Um. 
And what about um, what about if you eliminate the number dot integer like number dot integer the end part all the end part like number dot integer if mm. you num, because number yeah. dot integer num yeah yeah we don't need that just num greater than zero is enough I guess. Or it 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 protects us for the decimal numbers. Yeah. Yeah, for the decimal. Let's get rid of the decimal numbers, and it finds only positive. Does it say about decimal number? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Decimal numbers are not integer. Or could I say okay. num greater than zero here? Uh, no, 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 that's 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 Can't say that there. You have to say one variable here. Yeah, yeah, num is greater than zero and and um, it has to be a, a yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, this is this is correct. Yeah, I cannot change this one. <laughs> yeah, but the is integer returns a boolean, so mm -hmm. Yeah, it returns a uh, boolean true or false. So, but reduce reduce just is it just adding things? Reduce, yeah, I use it for adding. Yeah, for adding. Okay, I want to see what all I can do with filter. Where is it? Uh, I should use air array prototype. Okay, so all of these mutator methods yeah Accession methods iteration methods okay so these are all higher order functions yeah yeah this iteration uh, of dot entries they work with uh, entries, arrays uh, Creates a new array with all of the elements of this array for which the provided filtering function returns true. Yeah. Yeah, so this is pretty much like for me, this understanding of stuff is like um what I work with every day in Excel, mm -hmm. like find these are like Excel functions almost well, well, new array with the results of calling a provided function on every element in this array. Uh, reduce apply a function against an accumulator. And each value of the array from left to right has to reduce mm. it to a single value. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll have to play around with these. Return. Okay, so this is doing the same thing. Yeah, it 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 doing uh, squaring the numbers. But but it's not checking uh, the the array. It doesn't do any checking. What do you mean checking? Like 
it just to the square without checking the array, uh, like if it is integer or something. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, their criteria is different than us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I might. I might just read this because I don't really understand mm -hmm. callbacks that well. Okay. And it looks like map and callbacks are kind of like. I mean, what's your understanding of map and callback? Well, <clears throat> map map is a function. It's a built-in function. Mm -hmm. And callback is a function that passes as a parameter to any function, whether it's it can be uh, your own custom function or built-in function. Mm -hmm. So callback is that a function that you pass as a parameter. Okay, so it's a function within a function. Yes, that's a callback. But map is a built-in function just just any function for example if you you have your own function like add function then map is the same like add function or anything like but it's built-in function which which takes or which accepts a callback function a callback function is just a function yeah it's just calling yeah. it just calling yeah from another place. Yeah, we just it, it accepts like <clears throat> it it accepts uh, some function and the function also takes some values that can do whatever you want to map. Like for example, in here you have array. One, four, nine, sixteen. This is an array, and you want to map the array for each for each array. You want to do square. So the map function is good candidate for this. So you just call over the array the map function, and you pass each element. It will call like each element of the array, and then then it will return the square of each index. Okay. Yeah. So map just gives you the ability, if you wanted to, instead of calling a, a brand new arrow function, yes, you yes. can just call another function that exists already. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, you can make this map function to divide instead of multiplying by two, you can do divide or you can do addition x plus two. So it will add to each index two, two, two. That will be three, four. Yeah. You can yeah, so you can run it from here and you can see the result I think yeah, yeah. I'll put this yeah, and then now you can change uh x plus two for example, then instead of multiplying I wanna, I wanna this. Do this yeah like. <clears throat> uh, or 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 you can say like uh, uh, call uh, delete x delete the whole and just, just say console log then it will log four times <clears throat> oh here yeah console log x let me set this out okay. no. yeah just make console log x so log x and then it will log. Uh, what is it? 
x is not defined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we have to uh, pass arrow function x, x arrow x, yeah, x arrow, x arrow console log x. Yeah, this. Now, now this means that the the callback function it doesn't do anything. It only logs the values. Can you see the values? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the map is that it accepts a callback function. The callback function can do whatever you want. It can, it can log, it can multiply, yeah. it can square, it can whatever. And an array, just gonna. Array is the one that the each, object that you want to map. Each. Uh, no, no, the whole, the whole. Each part of the index, it's going to do it. Yeah. Like it was a for x console log. Then yeah. this x console log it. A console log, yes. This x console log it. Then this x yeah. console log it. Console log. Yeah. So now you can yeah. do whatever you want. Instead so of console It's pretty much like a, a loop. Yeah, it is behind this a loop. Behind, if you see how map is constructed, it's full of loops. Hmm. Yeah, you can see the map uh, source code are. Yeah, with an array, it's. it's it's pretty much a loop. Yeah. 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 So it's uh, it's like it it it's behind. There is a lot of for loops that you cannot see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's like a wrapper. That's really useful. Yeah, you don't have to care just, the details. You don't have to do the loop. You just create map. Yeah, it's like declarative. Hey, I want to map this array, like declarative. Yeah, yeah. When you say I want to map something, you basically say yes. I want to write yeah. a for loop. Yeah. To do this, yeah. one one exactly. uh, one index value at a time in my array. Yeah. yeah. So this is what. From left to right, run the array. Yeah. Today I want to rest. You can rest okay. today. That's really useful. Okay. Yeah. And you let's can play at, with filter or. Let's like, look at reduce real quick, just like. Because I want to see what it's really doing. But it's basically doing this, like adding one, like the one, two, three, four. It's just. It's a different kind of loop. It's just it's just uh, adding, right? Yeah, this one there is like two values, like pre the current and previous. Uh, yeah. So this one's taking all the values that are in the array, and then this one is saying take all the values and five and add them together. Yeah, initially five is the initial one. It's not like in the above there is no initial value. It's like when you say okay, so this is the current value. Okay. Yeah, the current value is the indexes one, two, three, four. Okay. And but if there's just one number, then it just goes with the array value values. Mm. Okay, so this this one's pretty simple. This is okay, I guess. Right. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Like if I were to add five here, it's going to be uh, fifteen and twenty. Yeah. 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 It's basically adding. Maybe there are more down. If you go down, there are like more powerful usage of. Current index source array. The index of the current element being processed in the array starts from index zero if an initial value is provided, otherwise, starts from index one. Mm. Okay. I don't know why it would start at index one. 
Doesn't every, isn't everything supposed to start at no, the, the default is the default is uh, uh, zero is the index the initial value. Okay. Is it like the index the index of the current being processed in there is starts from index zero if an initial value is being yeah like it should start from the zeroth index of the array. But it's saying it should start from one. Uh, okay. Maybe I'm misunderstanding this part. Okay. The array reduce is called upon a value to use as the first argument to the first call of the callback. If no initial value is supplied, the first element in the array. Yeah, yeah, I use. Yeah, okay. 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 We can see more, there are more application down. Yeah, for example. It's for objects. <laughs> Yeah, so it's using a um, math dot max. Yeah, the maximum defined. There's an accumulator, and there's a current value of x. And then there's callback two, which is which is taking the max and the current. But this one was empty, so there's a type error. And then this mm. one was calling the current value of x is 22. So it's 42 because there is a max. Yeah. There's no other value, so it's just. The maximum of the object. Just gives like... the entire object. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And then this one. Uh, I'm wondering what EL is. I don't know what that is. That's just an element. Mm, the index, the element. Yeah, the element. Like the property of the object is like. Better solution also works for empty or larger arrays. For each object, you are taking the property. Yeah. And then. What is that? The current. Okay. So I need to go read up on reduce now. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> well, this is reduced though. But I don't understand how. Minus infinity. Minus infinity. Like, what does that have to do with anything? That's uh, where the reduce takes two things. One is the function, the callback function, and the second parameter is the initial value. So in this case, they so gave takes minus the, infinity. And then minus infinity. I think this is not like working stuff. So I just... guess this would work more for empty. It would it wouldn't throw an error. Yeah, in yeah. An empty situation. And I guess maybe it would help with larger arrays. I don't know. Mm. If I don't know. That's interesting. This is the one that we should have to know. This is like you have array and you want to call reduce and there is a callback 
a callback function mm -hmm. and then it returns the addition Yeah, because this is basically what you want to do is yeah. this is like the name of this and then if you want to add something to this, then you just, but isn't, isn't yeah, it uh, automatically doing that already without even yeah. doing this? Yeah. Um, Shouldn't it just return it already? No, it should go one by one. It's like. Index by oh, index. go one by one. Yeah. Uh, in Unless order to understand, gave... yeah, you can take this, copy this, and then go to console, Google console, and yeah, um, the way I do is like here, write the debugger. Yeah, you can write debugger. Here, yeah, that's a debugger. Here, or yeah, you just write, write debugger. And okay, yes, D, debugger double G, yes, semicolon and shift enter, like, yeah, and paste the, the stuff, and now run it. Enter now, we will see, like each how it goes make uh, <laughs> make the uh make it a little bit bigger or i don't know how. yeah like collapse some yeah yeah now this is good and then uh, can you see the right left go to the right in the right there is uh, the refresh thing can you see up uh yeah, that one. Call one one time. Press one time. No, no, that one. Yes, that one. One time click. Yes. Now you see. Uh, Stepping okay. so, line yeah, by close, line. Uh, yeah, close the left one. Uh, in the left one, there is. Can you see the arrow? There is arrow there. A little bit up, up, up. That yeah. Click that one. No, no. Click that one. Yeah. Click. Yes. Oh, now okay. we see everything. <laughs> now from yes yes now yeah so now there is an array and the radius is running and yeah and you can see now the call stack in the call stack you can see scope and global variables the, on the right on the right pane you can see that there is call stack and and there is a scope and global okay. like can see how JavaScript score will go. So now you can, yeah, in the global, we have this like a lot of the, yeah, you can minimize this. We don't need the global. We only, yeah, you can, yes, only score. Yeah, now you can, that refresh, you can click one, that refresh button. Yeah, one time. So now, yeah, now it, now it's the you can see the accumulator like each variable. I don't know if you hover over it, then you see the values. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's just saying it's nothing is defined. Yeah, because you have to assign this uh, uh, to uh, a variable. Let's say that var array is equal to something. Like the whole reduce return should be, you have to put it in a variable, right? Yeah, like let. Yeah, yeah, yeah. put it yeah. and press that X. Uh, oh, yeah. Like and then up. This. You can press uh, the up arrow. You have the. Yeah, I'm trying. 
Okay, then you can copy paste it and then copy paste the whole. I don't know what it's doing. Or copy paste from the it? app. Debugger. Debugger. And then semicolon, shift enter. And then a variable assign like. Yeah. R is equal to. Yeah, this is. That's it, nothing. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. But then I need to say a console log at uh, the down down at uh, the last. Can point, I make this last. an error function? No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Oh. For now, we we want to, like. Okay. It's okay. Uh, in the end, console log it the R R value. Can I add a value to this now? No, no, no it's it's okay. Like we just want. To, uh. So that it would add one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, let's see what, what the current value will be like, the default. Let's see how it, yeah. Okay, I'll add this back. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then console log the uh, AR. Or I could say like, let, oops. Uh, because semicolon. Let current value. Equal five. Yeah, you can see semicolon and up out of semicolon and then and we didn't invoke it. No, it's not invoking. You have to say semicolon, you miss semicolon. Oh it's type here. No. It's not like you don't need to invoke it. Uh, it's not returning anything. Now you have to make a debugger semicolon. There is missing semicolon. Um, debugger. Is it supposed to go to the debugger? Semicolon. Let's see. Oh, I need a semicolon. Right. Yeah, um, okay. I didn't go to the debugger. Or do I already have it open? Ah, is it? You have to close it, otherwise it won't. Oh, it's already you here. Have to, yeah. You have to close this. This one, okay. Yeah, yeah make that... Uh, no, no, that's the, the blue one. Press the blue one. The here. blue... Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, okay, that one. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Did something here? Yeah, I did six plus four is ten. It output something there. Okay, so we're back in it now. Yeah, I was doing something. This isn't what I just created there. Uh, oh, I didn't, didn't keep my work. Uh, let's see. Let me get rid of this one. Turn it down. Oh, I don't want to get rid of it. Oh, gosh. How's this thing doing? It's frozen. Okay. Right. Okay, here we are. Fine. So reduce. And how is it that I got?
sorry, Elliot. It just fun came up, but that's okay. Uh, so, what do we have? Uh, I just I walked through the yeah. left current value equals five, and then let R, and then we reduce it. It's so just adding, speed. right? Is return uh, ten plus five? Uh, but can you? Can you? Uh, yeah. It doesn't. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Somehow it's it's freezing. Um, yeah, I'm frozen. It's freezing. Yeah. Oh, it's working on this. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know what this grammarly. <laughs> That's just uh, checking my grammar. Maybe. Yeah. In my, in it's, it's maybe it's free, somehow freezing. Yeah, but no, yeah. Okay, okay there we go. Uh, okay. Okay. So can I start at the beginning? In the debugger. Uh, okay. I've never actually looked at this debugger. This is the first time. I like I like debugger. Whatever I found a uh, JavaScript code, I uh -huh. take it to debugger and I try to understand how it works. No, that, this looks really useful. Yeah, and then the debugger can tell you any everything. Like, yeah, it keeps doing scrambling. I don't know what that is. I'm not telling it to do that. I just, I get down. It's, it's yeah. Just ahead. Um, so, yeah, too, too much. Yeah, and then we map and reduce. And then let's take a look at the filter. Filter is easy. I mean, it's just filtering. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't do anything. It's just filtering. Yeah, it's just taking our criteria and then outputting. And then filter. Yeah. Within the array. This is like what is yeah. fitting that criteria. Mm. So yeah. Yeah, like spray, I don't think it would be five, right? Yeah. It wouldn't output. Limit wouldn't output. Elite wouldn't output. But the rest would. Yeah, today I was like, I was studying some JavaScript. And then I saw that. Have you, have you written like a, a function that is the number of characters? Returns the number of characters. Yeah, can we write just simple function that returns the number of characters? In that length? Yeah, that that length. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, using for loop, for example. Oh, use a for loop to return the length? Yes. You still, I mean, wouldn't you still just use this? Uh, yeah, you still need the uh, for loop still needs the link. But, but for every, every item. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. it would be something like this. Like, uh,
Yeah. Okay, so. Ah, uh, do you know that you can give me a uh, share for the, for Visual Studio? Have you ever used share? Uh, huh? I mean, I can give you mouse control here. No, 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 no. I mean the Visual Studio code. Uh, within this, I can give you, I can share it. Yeah, have you used share from this? No, I haven't. Yeah, the install the share, like install. Oh, it's an go extension. to, yeah, uh, share, like live share or something. Yeah, live share, yeah, this one, install it. And then. Oh, I never heard of this. And then, it's, yeah, we will. it's good for pair programming. <laughs> oh, good. Have you seen that 7 million, 7.5 million people are live sharing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so then, so first log in with your GitHub or something to. Yeah, I'm, I'm connected to GitHub. Okay, then go to the file that you are, Here. you are, links, no, no, that links. I mean, go to the file. I need to push this to my GitHub. Ah, okay, okay. Um, push it. Uh, initial. Save. Yeah, and okay, I just pushed it. And and only give me the share for for this for the file like Langs. Yeah, now open that file and yeah, it's open. Yeah, yeah, and then can you see live share down? There's uh, here. Yeah, yeah, that one also. Yeah, yeah, live share and then send me the link. On the it would be here too though. Yeah, there is that one, yes. That's that one. And and you will you have to log in with your GitHub and then you will send me uh, yeah, the authorize or something. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's really, really nice. <laughs> Ready to share. Okay. And yeah, where is the share link? Send me the link. Invite participants. Yeah, invite. Invite link copy yeah it's already copied and pasted it in the chat room and yeah okay uh, yeah now i will <laughs> to access it through the link no i didn't let me i'm i'm now logged in uh. okay let's see Yeah, I think, can you see me now? Maybe it will tell you that Jamal has something. 
He has joined. Um, no, it doesn't say that here. Oh, no, it says, okay. He joined. Jamal Muhammad. Yeah, we can even chat. Uh, yeah, okay, now we can start. <laughs> yeah, add it. We'll talk. <laughs> huh? All right, so. Now we can. You can see my room. cursor. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can. Like that. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Nice. I didn't even know you could do that. It's really nice. <laughs> and VS Code has so many good elements to it. I always yeah. It. It's now they are they are becoming very powerful. Oh man. As there's a lot of things to learn. <laughs> yeah, I mean this is pretty much like uh, what we were doing in the Code Sandbox. But yeah, yeah, probably yeah. Probably better. Yeah, it's probably better. Okay, so now uh, we can now we can continue. Like, okay, write and then I will write. Okay, the first one, the first one is you can see me, right? I'm just editing now. Yeah, I can. Count. This is actually much better than Code Sandbox. Yeah, it's only like count chart that I sent a string. Uh, okay, this is like count chart and then a string and then and then this one no, no, don't do that no sorry huh? str sorry. dot length this is console log dot log count char count char of let's let's say hello world you can uh, see me, right? It'll give you the length of Hello World, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So now, I don't know. Huh? <laughs> I can run init terminal with me. <laughs> okay, you have to. I am requesting accept to me, okay? So that I can. Okay, so I have accept to my request. Give you yeah, permission. permission that, yeah. yeah, you have permission. Yeah. Okay, so now. Yeah, now you can see me. So, uh, so now um, we can say node uh, count chart. Is it node uh, lengths or something? Yes. Now it's eleven. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then I get so it. now, yeah, now you can edit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Edit, and then you can run. Yeah, so it's, it's eleven. So this is this is uh, without for loop. Let's do with for loop. How do you think? But I just added a character. No, no, with for loop. With for loop. How can we? Eh? With a for loop. Yeah. I, I added some things. Yeah, it's, it's oh, fifteen. Yeah. yeah. I had to save. With it. For, okay. Yeah, with for loop. Try. Let's let's do with for loop. How can we approach it? Create a for loop. Yeah. So that the instead count of, char instead of uh, instead of using uh, str, like uh, instead of instead of using let this comment out. Function. Instead of yeah, instead of this. Uh, you still have an like, error function. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's our arrow function. We we can we can omit. Uh, yeah, we can we can omit this because it's it's only one, one. So using for loop. For oh, you you wanna do it? Okay. So we should try, try, try. Okay, go ahead. It's now clean. Okay. For. For I, for let for I, let I, I is equals to zero. Uh, yeah. Then. And I is less than str dot length. Uh, okay. And I plus plus. Okay, uh, I'll be a uh, let me give you a little hand. This is semicolon, right? Oh yeah, yeah. This is You're semicolon, right. and and we need this. Uh, now, now, 
now we are, we are counting, right? So mm -hmm. in counting, uh, let i is equal to, from i is equal to zero to i less than a star. So let's, let's declare a, a count variable, which is zero now, and then we, we increment it here, count plus plus, and then we return it here, count. This will do. Uh, okay. Now, now this will give us fifteen if you try. Node. Return zero now. Why is it? Uh, let i equal zero. I. Do we not return or no? <laughs> no, I just return here. Count. And count is plus plus, plus here. equals. Uh, one, one, you can say one in here, yeah. Oh, maybe it's not saved or I don't know. I did save it. Yeah, you did save it. Um, <clears throat> okay, count char, count so char hello world and then count zero, let i equals zero, i is less than str. Dot no, this is not dot length. This is not the right length. Oh, we've misspelled huh? length. Yeah. Yes, this is. <laughs> that was <laughs> Now, yay! Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now and, uh, I'm going to show you fingers. one trick. One trick in here, like uh, let i is equals to uh, this uh, comma. And then we take out the links from the array, from the array. Yeah. You remember this, from this, and then semicolon i is less than links. This is destructure because we are learning, uh, we are learning uh, A6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let i is equal zero comma links, links, links. Yeah, length is equals to uh, S from from str, not, not not just like this, and then yeah. Okay, so it runs yeah, the same from, way. Let's try. Run it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it worked. Yeah. This is like destructuring. We are pulling out language from the STR. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and then and then we check I less than language, not like str dot language, just language because we pulled out destructuring from the array. Yeah. Mm. Nice. So yeah, so we can do like this share and then yeah, yeah. I like destructuring because <laughs> if uh, you know we're writing a lot more, it, it would make a lot more sense. Yeah, yeah. So then, um, yeah, I mean obviously the. The arrow function returned it with the, that length too. But, but it's good to understand what what's happening in the for loop. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's good review. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like I should probably review the for loop more. <laughs> Because I still make that mistake of putting a comma when it needs to be a semicolon. Ah, uh, semicolon, yeah. But a comma would just create that where it just sets up another variable, right? Sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so could, could you, you could set up another condition too then, right? With that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you say comma, then you can pass multiple... Uh, 
conditions. Yeah, expressions, yeah. Expressions, yeah. 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 Hmm. Yeah. I'll uh, just commit this. Um, Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have to use this live share more for our, uh, for a study session. Yeah, for study, even for anything, React or something. You just because sometimes, yeah, sometimes you don't see where something is but someone is see if you just share then you can just edit it there like yeah that's really cool mm -hmm. yeah and then it's really easy yeah that is cool yeah mm -hmm. yeah <clears throat> and also there is a lot of features that you can uh, you can, uh, share through discord or a lot of features you can learn from. yeah like i want to i want to connect my discord to yes discord. vs code as well yeah yeah because i'm always like clicking here you know and then going back through me you know but there is a way to connect discord here uh -huh. so it would just be one of these over here which one? Um, it would pop up on this left left side. Yeah, does it? Yes, it, it, it will pop up, yeah. Yeah. Maybe after this recording, I'll get it hooked up to do that. Or yeah, I guess okay. it would be down here, maybe. Maybe, yeah, uh, somewhere. I was telling me I can follow you. <laughs> yeah. On live share, I can follow you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> it's a lot, yeah. But so this one, have... I like it because you will have the same uh, platform to play, and then yeah, we board. we all uh, we all work in the same editor, so. Yeah. If, you're, if yeah. you're working in the same editor, then it's, yeah. And then like your chat is all here. And also there is chat. That's the uh, the benefit. <laughs> yeah, your chat is here, and then even like accessing my terminal. Yeah, yeah, that's super. <laughs> so it's like everything <laughs> is accessible. Yeah. Within this application. That's amazing. Can you, can you access these? Which one? My uh, side panel here. Like you could commit for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. Yeah. Uh, can you save it? Yeah, yeah. I can commit if you. So can like see if it. I said. Yeah. Just comment, and then yeah, you, yeah. You try save to save it. it. And then, yeah. Now, now, uh, now. I'm just in it changes. Uh, where is it? Okay. But it says there is no changes. Uh, I was saying there's no change, even though I'm saying commit, comment. Le yeah, you said commit, but uh, maybe uh, because we have different Git. I have my own, so the Git is different. So it, now, now it shows it's, me it's why. Saved. I think it's saved because I didn't really? save. Really? Okay. Yeah, because it recognized there's a change now. Yeah, yeah, I can see that it's, uh, yeah, there is. Do you, do you have access to this source control panel? No, no. You don't? Um, no. Do you have to request access? You only see on your side. Yeah, I can see for my side, but okay. I can see the diff, like uh, the tree, like the difference. Oh, if you had a branch. Yes, kind of, kind of. But, yeah. Oh, interesting. 
Empat ya. That's crazy. Uh, follow Iliad, then I am following you. <laughs> then I could go live. Yeah, when you go live. Uh, and it'll be in the console. All right, that it would be. Live related. Do we? Uh, we didn't cancel anything. Uh, you did? <clears throat> no, I don't think we did. Oh, we, yeah, we did. Yeah. We cancel like 15. Uh, that should be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, because it should be, it should be cancel. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me fix this. But I should be connected to here. Length. Okay, now when I go live. Yeah. Okay. And then I check here. Yeah, fifteen. Yeah, I can see that now. Index and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, it's super awesome. Yeah, I didn't connect the uh, correct JS file too. That's amazing. Yeah. Is it? Mm. Can I also open live server for this one? That's amazing if I opened it. Wow. Um, it, you opened it from your side? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so you can see a live, a live server there. Yeah. And they're my files. So you even have access? For this file, yeah. For the index. Yeah, the index, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> Car. run this one and then let's do one of the Daddy lessons. Alright. Set default parameters for your functions. In order to help us create more flexible functions, ES6 introduces default parameters for functions. Check out this code. All right, so there are, this is the default parameter because it's setting up anonymous as name. But if you console log John, then it'll return John. But if you don't console log anything, it's just empty, then it'll automatically say anonymous. So it says anonymous because he said nothing. The default parameter kicks in when the argument is not specified. It is undefined. As you can see in the example above, the parameter name will receive its default value anonymous. When you do not provide a value like we did here for the parameter. You can add default values for as many parameters as you want. Modify the function increment by adding default parameters so that it will add one to number if value is not specified. Okay. <clears throat> there would be one. Yeah. Let me see what it was before I did that. It was N A N. And then when you add the one, it's a six. Yeah. 
Yeah. But if you pass two, then yeah, add one thousand, four hundred. Yeah. 100. Yeah. Yeah. I, I uh, think you would see how it would be most useful yeah. in like a welcome screen. Yeah. That would probably be the most common way people would use this. Yeah. Run the test. Okay. That one's pretty easy. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Okay, let's get to this one. This one seems like a really important operator to learn. I've used this a little bit, but um, I feel like I need more practice with this one. Use the rest operator with function parameters. In order to help us create more flexible functions, ES6 introduces the rest operator for function parameters. With the rest operator, you can create functions that take a variable number of arguments. These arguments are stored in an array that can be accessed later from inside the function. Check out this code. All right, so they set up the rest operator for how many arguments? Yeah. And then they set it up one, zero, one, two. So then it counts how many here and it adds string no one, two, three. And you added a blank, uh, just an object. So because you use the spread of the rest operator, or is it spread operator or rest operator? Rest operator. Then it counts one, two, three, four. So each, at each comma, it counts what's, the, what's there. Like just, it's just counting, you know, items in the in the list here. The rest operator eliminates the need to check the args array and allows us to apply map, filter, and reduce on the parameters array. I wonder how you could Use it on the parameters array. Um, um, you could use it here. Yeah, this is like when you pass something. You like for use, example, you could use map filter and reduce. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. In here. No, no, not in here. In the body of the function. In here. In the body. Yeah. Oh, in here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so like instead of length, you could do reduce. Yeah, if you want. Yeah, you can use those. Uh, built-in functions but now the question is that modify the function sum so that it uses the rest operator and it, it works in the same way with any number of parameters okay so instead of this yeah just dot 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 args args yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I need to change this, right? Why? Hmm? I don't think I need this. No. Yeah. It should return six. Yeah. 
still summing these numbers. Yeah. Yeah. So just got rid of an entire line of code. Yeah, and then by this. writing this. <laughs> yeah. But this allows me to go beyond just three. It allows me to say yeah, like more hundred or yeah. five thousand, four thousand. Yeah. yeah, like it's unlimited in the numbers that I can say. Yeah. Like I don't I'm not just limited to three. I'm not limited to just three. Like I can say as many as I want. Oh, what did I break now? Oh, I need to get, uh, get rid of a bracket. Or, um, That's cool. Okay, let's look at uh, use the spread operator to evaluate arrays in place. ES6 introduces the spread operator, which allows us to expand arrays and other expressions in places where multiple parameters or elements are, expe are expected. The ES5 code below uses apply to compute the maximum value in an array. So maximus equals math.max.apply no r so Jones 89. Yeah, because the max was 89 out of the array. Maximus. Okay. All right. We had to use math.max.apply null r because math.max r returns not a number. Math.max expects comma saturated arguments, but not an array. The spread operator makes this syntax much better to read and maintain. Yeah. So, think, yeah, so it's doing the same thing, but it allows us to use max and then, uh, you know, it's, it's an array, so it allows us to examine more than one. Yeah. In English, we call this an ellipsis. <laughs> Yeah. You know ellipsis, right? Ellipsis? What's that? That's three dots. Okay. No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like we would say like in this is just normal English like hello or we'd say like I'm going to the store uh, and I'm bored. But then we would say something like that. Yeah, so then I'm bored means like a long pause and we would say, but I will have a good day. Yeah. So like in normal English, you would say something like that. Okay. This just means like he paused for a long time after saying I'm bored. <laughs> you know. Okay. But I will have a good day. Nice. <laughs> but that kind of makes sense here because it's like you're saying like six and then you know dot dot dot. <laughs> and then you could have infinite number of things and then forty five is the end. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like you could add however many numbers in between six and 45 that you want, but it would read it as, you know, like six. Oh, is this, yeah. Ellipsis, dot, dot, dot. Kind of like this, like, like the space, the space in between the time that you say the board and then, but, you know, that's basically like the rest of uh, operator <laughs> is acting the same way. Okay. That's basically where they came up with that, is from <laughs> the way that we use that in English. 
Okay. <clears throat> dot, 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 R returns an unpacked array. In other words, it spreads the array. However, the spread operator only works in place. Like in an argument to a function or in an array literal, the following code will not work. So it won't work. No parenthesis. Copy all contents of R1 into an array R2. Using the spread yeah. Operator. Okay. Yeah. One dot three, one dot. I missed one dot. Okay. How many kids you have? How many kids? Yeah. I have two. Oh, I have three. Okay. Three. Three. Kids. Yeah. Sorry, my baby's making noise. Nice. No, okay. Yeah, one section. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, Jamal. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we continue tomorrow then. Yeah, I think I think we can we can finish for today. Yeah. We'll continue. How many left for uh, this? Yes. De Destructuring assignments yeah. to assign yeah. variables from objects. Okay. It's not that much, right? How many left? Like, how many are left? Yeah. Uh, one moment. Let me check. Uh, one moment. Start. Uh, Okay. Uh, three and a half, three hours long. Uh, Mommy. Challenge. Okay. Yeah. I think we can end there. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's start again here tomorrow, and um, yeah, let's. Uh, I'll continue to work with map functions though, because map, map filter and reduce and some of the higher order functions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I like, and then this is really good, but I have to. I need to stop sharing. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah stop. Yeah. How, do I, how do I do that? Just as close. If you close this, then it's. It says you're no longer here. There's no longer any participants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. You left, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or do I just click here? Yeah. Huh. That's really neat, though. It, it will account. store like now nah, I'm offline, but it will store like so next time. Yeah, so I could just click here and invite you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, that is really cool. Yeah. Oh, so I can even share the server. Yeah, <laughs> share the server. <laughs> Holy smoke. That is crazy. <laughs> Stop collaboration session. Yeah, that's okay. Cool. Wow. That is cool. That is so cool. Wow. Okay. All right. Yeah. Then see you tomorrow. All right, Jamal. Yeah. Hanging out with you. Okay. Yeah. See you. <laughs> All right. Bye. Let me uh, close everything down. Okay. I'll talk to you tomorrow.
Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. Happy coding, everybody. Thanks for joining us.